It's a grim day for the grimmest of missions. Specialist divers now in these waters searching for the bodies of those still missing, presumed dead. Among them, 49-year-old Miguel Luna, a father of six, originally from Mexico, and Maynor Suazo, a 37-year-old father of two. His sister says he was the driving force of their family. I think he was the best brother ever. He gave us strength for everything. I only ask that God finds him. That's all we ask. 18 hours into the search as the rescue operation became recovery, the ship's black box was found. Investigators hope it will help determine what caused this tragedy. I need one of you guys on the south side. One of you guys Police audio from the minutes before the disaster reveals the efforts to try and shut the bridge after the ship crew issued a frantic mayday call. Uh, there's a ship approaching that just lost their steering. So until you get that under control, we got to stop all traffic. Yeah, if we can stop traffic, just make sure no one's on the bridge right now. I said to myself, why is, that, why is the boat right there? As police raced to close the bridge, Terry, on her way back from work, was still on it. I got to the bottom at exactly 129, and I heard an explosion, and I thought maybe I blew a tire. And um, when I looked back, I seen the bridge collapsing. You saw the construction workers there. I did see them. I, I hurried up and went past them. You um, must have been one of the last people to see them alive. Yeah, I was. I'm really in shock. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm devastated. I'm in shock. I feel sad for the family. Um, it could have been me. It's a treacherous mission for the divers searching for the missing in these waters. Not only are conditions changeable, visibility beneath the surface is almost zero and they're having to avoid the mangled metal and debris from the bridge and the ship. They're being watched all the time by the crew of 22 aboard the Dali, stranded on the vessel until it can be moved. Uh, Andrew, how long is the crew likely to be stuck on that ship for? <sighs> I, I'm going to venture to say at least several weeks. Andrew is acting as a liaison officer for the crew. I was actually just messaging with uh, one of the crew now, and um, they're expressing, you know, expressing the need for communication. So, you know, my my response was, I'll work on it, and I'll biggest the, the biggest hurdle will be getting it out to them while they're still sitting in the river. Even after this cargo ship can be transported, the White House warned of a long and difficult path to full recovery for Baltimore. For those who have lost loved ones, it won't be that easy. Martha Kellner, Sky News, Baltimore.